Ooh, what? It brought out the fruit and the wine. Mm -hmm. It's like really fruity. It's mm -hmm. like cherries. Yeah. So we're headed to Bettina, the best pizzeria in all of Santa Barbara. We are here in Montecito Country Mart. I'm excited. I've heard great things about it. And, uh, you know, what are we having? We're going to have two pizzas. Okay. One, what they call a white pie and a red pie. Okay. His choice. And I'm going to pick some uh, wine that hopefully goes with both. All right. Let's do it. All Can't right. wait. Sounds good. Awesome. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, nice to see yeah, you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. This is a real treat to be here at your establishment. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, Bettina, we're located in the Montecito Country Mart. Uh, we've been open for just over four years. Our primary focus here is kind of uh, wood-fired pizza and all kind of seasonal, kind of uh, mostly focused on Italian-style uh, dishes. Our main idea in the restaurant is uh, taking advantage of all of the seasonal produce that's grown in Santa Barbara. We have the most amazing farmer's markets here and we try and utilize uh, as much as we can. What is your go-to, you know, dish, pizza, Ooh, plate here? I'm, well, I'm really big on the sausage pizza right okay. now, and uh, the arancini are, is one of my favorite dishes, and uh, yeah, cocktails and, and wine. <laughs> yeah, nice. I love it. So you have two pizzas picked out for us yes. today? Yes. Hopefully one of the sausage. Yes, we're gonna be doing our house pork sausage pizza. Um, get the pork from the farmer's market, grind it in-house. Uh, and it's got some amazing roasted peppers and we can pull in mozzarella for all our pizzas as well. And secondly, you'll be having the um, kabocha squash pizza, which is a white pie that has a, a base of roviola, uh, cheese, uh, fonduta, and uh, like ribbon thin kabocha squash and some toasted pepitas that we finish it with. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's our, our one of our seasonal pies right now. That's right. awesome. That sounds great. Wait. Okay. Let's do it. I all right. Wait. Yeah, sure. let's do it. Chris, I saw you going through the wine list, talking to Brandon about what bottle to go with. Why'd you choose this one? Well, he mentioned that he was going to pull out uh, a red pie and a white pie. Yeah. So I'm going to try to do something that's kind of in between. This is a Nebbiolo-based wine. It comes from the Piedmont region. It's in an area, a very value-driven area, called Geme. This is going to be a, a touch lighter in style, which is going to play to that white uh, pie without being too big for the red pie. So we'll have to check it out. This is a 2014 Revoloto. You see by the color, it's a little bit lighter. Actually pretty classic color for good Nebbiolo. Mm, smells pretty good. I want to say citrus tannic, but it's only the, the, the flavor that's left that has that citrus flavor to it. Right, you're getting some of the, like the, the kind of sour notes, the sour cherry mm -hmm. notes yep. you're getting from classic Nebbiolo profile, along with some of the floral aromatics, which yep. I think you like. Yeah. What it'll do is it'll work really well with fat. So the second we get any kind of a fat component, whether it's olive oil or cheese or the sauce, it'll combine with this to hopefully give us some great third flavors. Okay, cool. Looking forward to it. Both look insane. Uh, yeah, Robiolo, Fontino, and the squash. House-made pork sausage. I will have to say this looks amazing. They both look amazing. That looks insane. Can't wait to try them. Where should we start? Um, eating. All right. There, start I like with that. eating. Start with eating. I'm gonna go sausage first. You're gonna go with the sausage first. Let's give it a go then. This looks insane. That's really good pizza. Kind of complements it perfectly. Not too big. Too small, highlights some of the spiciness, I think, in the pizza. Absolutely. What I'm noticing is how fresh the cheese is on the pizza. No, it's this like is super farmhouse fresh. It almost has a sour lactic kind of quality to it. Yeah, no, I mean, that's one of the first things I noticed was, was the cheese, the flavor was really fresh. Fresh and strong, and I like that part. The pizza's insane. <laughs> it's very good. Insane. I want to try the second pizza to go with the pairing and see what yeah, I like. Yeah, we'll, we might have to go back. Yeah, we'll go back and forth, but uh, at least we know the pizza's insane. It goes really well with that as well. It does. I wasn't really expecting myself to like this pizza as much as I did. I did. Right. I'll be honest. When I order pizza, it's like pepperoni or sausage. Mm -hmm. And then if we have to order another one, 
I kind of stepped back and let people pick. This would have been one of those times that I did. I never would have ordered this pizza on my own. Exactly. It's really good. It's too bad. This squash pizza gets overlooked. Might be the star of the show today. It's a seasonal pizza. It goes really well with the wine. It almost gives the wine a little bit of a creamy feel. Mm -hmm. You know, because of that cheese, the pesto, the oil. All right, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go back to the sausage slice. The pizzas are some of the best pizzas I've ever had. Fresh, great flavors, simple, but lots of flavors and textures and different things going on here. Right. And this is a really, really good sausage and pepper pizza. Yeah. As far as the pairing, I'm going to go with the white pizza with the squash. Yeah. I just really like what the pesto and the cheese and, and a little bit of a creaminess that does with the wine. I don't think you can go wrong. Yeah, I don't think you can go wrong. For me, I agree with everything you just said, but I'm like red wine and meat kind of yeah. guy. And I really like what this wine is able to do with the sausage pizza. I think it helps that there is so much beautiful fresh cheese on there. And the like Calabrian chilies on there speak to the spiciness of the wine. But you can't go wrong. I'm with the red pie, you're with the white. I think it's a win either way. Yep. Hey. Cheers. This is, uh, Salute. Uh, I want to come back and try the rest of the pizzas here now. Yeah. And the rest of the dishes. Yeah, maybe they have some weird strawberry pizza that is yeah. phenomenal. I asked for something spicy to go with this, throwing some oil on there. Calabrian chili is this Italian chili that sometimes has a kick, not always. Not the kick I was thinking, but the flavor is amazing. That's what you were looking for. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what? I brought out the fruit and the wine. Mm -hmm. It's like really fruity. It's mm -hmm. like cherries. Yeah. The spice. I had the spice bring out the cherries. Uh -huh. Oh. That's it great. Mm -hmm. I doused mine in oil. I mean, look at it. It's got leaking out the back. Yeah. I put a ton of chili flake in there. So usually we're taught that, you know, spice and especially red wow. wines that tend to be higher in alcohol wow. bite. These aren't fighting at all. These aren't fighting. These are even better. Looking at the categories that we did on our tacos, ambiance, flavor, value, service. Where are we at with all of those categories? I love the ambience. I love the, yeah. the decor here. That's definitely a five. Yeah. The flavor is definitely a five. Five. Value, I um, I gotta be honest, I didn't look at the menu. I didn't either. I, I didn't see the price. The higher side. So uh, maybe, I... maybe a four or three or four. Yeah. And, and the ambience, I mean, this is great. The flavor is good. Yeah. The service, you know, pizzas come out quick. Five. Five. Yeah. So, Three again, minutes. again, 19 out of 20. 19 out of 20. Thank you for joining yeah, us again. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Thank you.